What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a multi-scale Lugia team alongside with Sandstream, Titar, and Dustnor. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel. And shout out to my boy Randy for dropping this team for me. This team looks amazing amazing i cannot wait to get after it and try to get some wins with it starting off in that top left corner we have tyrannitar right here with the sandstream ability and that weakness policy as its item lash out rock slide eq and protect as its moveset fairly normal for a tyrannitar right next to him we have torkoal over here with drought and charcoal we have eruption heat wave solar beam and protect all moves that are going to be boosted and helped out by his weather control in that sun Middle left, we have Dustor over here with the Frisk ability and the Mental Herb as item. Just purely Ghost type, Nightshade, Bulldoze, Ally Switch, and Trick Room. We can set the Trick Room to actually help our Pokemon out speed. We have Ally Switch to pester around, Bulldoze to proc T-Tar's weakness policy, and Nightshade for our hitting move. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, yo, Jeans, why aren't you using Dustclops? Dustclops should give him the Evo Light. He'll be, just, he'll be uh, more bulky than uh, Dustor. And he has those exact same movesets. Well, Randy over here was like, yo, dude, Dust Dustnor is a cool Pokemon. I really want to show him off. And I'm on board with that. I'm like, yo, let's show off Dustnor and throw out some new Pokemon in this meta instead of always using the same one. So that's the reasoning behind that one. Venusaur right next to him with the Chlorophyll ability. Life Orb as its item. Frenzy Plant, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and Sleep Powder. Great special attack for his team. Especially pairs well with the Torkoal. Obviously, you guys know that. And that Sun will double speed and we'll get rolling from there. Grim Snarl in that bottom left corner with the Prankster and that Light Clay so our screens can last longer. And then a move set of Spirit Break, Reflect, Light Screen, and Thunder Wave the Pester. Gets him paralyzed and slow down the opposing Pokemon. Final spot is going to be our Restricted Mon with Lugia. Multi scale as its uh, ability, which is absolutely amazing. Leftovers to give it more HP at the end of every single turn. And then move set is Aero Blast, Calm Mind to set up, Ice Beam, and Earth Power. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Lugia and Dustnor team. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, going up against a Kabalion team. He has no Restricted Mons, which is. Okay, I, I think he should have a restricted mod. It makes your team a lot better, but you know what? We're going to try to take this win from him. He has a Moongus with Urshifu, Lapras, Incineroar, and Wimsky. He's probably going to set up that Tailwind. Get rolling from there, I think. Ooh, can he go beat up with that? Yeah, that's justified over there. But I might go Duskops and Tyranitar. That might be the play. Yeah, let's go Dust or not Duskops. Dustnor and Tyranitar, because I can ally switch. You can go for a beat up at a Max Knuckle and try to take out my Tyranitar, and I can ally switch and kind of get rolling from there. That could be a pretty good move. That could be a pretty good move. But guys, let me know for question of the day. What Pokemon generation would you guys like to see a Nuzlocke on? I know I've been saying I've been wanting to do a Nuzlocke for a very, very long time. But I think this month or leading into next month, we're going to get started on a Nuzlocke. So let me know in the comment section down below what generation you guys would like to see. We're going to cut off generation four. We're not going to do that because the new game's coming in here. I'm thinking two or three or maybe five. That would be pretty cool. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to do it for you guys. I was going to bring Lugia in on this team. And then in the final spot, do I bring Grimstar off? Yeah, I think we bring Grimstar for another support mod to bring in later in the match. Get some screens up, get rolling from there. And then we have Lugia as another great attacker to come in that back end. But hopefully we pick up a uh, victory in battle number one. I'm looking to go at least 2-1 and one or 3-0 and oh in today's video. I know in the past like couple videos I've been going like 1-2. and two, And, yo, know, come on. We got to do better than that. We got to do better than that. We're going to get rolling. Let's see who he leads. Is he going to go, yeah, Wimscott and Cobalion. Okay. So, that's fair. We know that thing's fighting type, and we know it's justified. So, I think he's just going to go straight for the beat up, which I might ally switch. Dynamax to Tyranitar and try to do some damage onto that Cabalion. That's definitely a play. Or I can protect. Or I can max guard and set up a trick room, and then bulldoze and dump on that thing. Ooh. What does Jeans want to do here? Or he can taunt me. He can taunt me. Um, what does Jeans want to do? Could just go straight for an ally switch. I'm gonna go here. I am gonna trick room. And I am gonna dynamax and I am gonna guard. That's gonna be play. That's gonna be turn number one here. Cause I think uh beat up's gonna come out here. Max knuckle into my Tyranitar, considering that's four times super effective to my Tyranitar. So if I can guard that one up and set off this trick room, then I can bulldoze and get more with the squad. But there's no doubt in my mind that you're dynamaxing and going for the beat up, right? Yeah, okay. There's a Dynamax. You gotta be going for a Max Knuckle. If you don't go for a Max Knuckle, like, what are you doing? That'll be my play. I'll be like, yo, I'm going straight for this Tyrant Guitar. Max Knuckle that thing, try to take him out. You gotta be going for a beat up, right? No way you're going for a taunt here. I just don't see that happening. If he does taunt, 
Um, that might, that might mess us up, but then we just go with the plan two, which would be ally switch next turn. Actually, we can't ally switch. Ooh, ooh, if he taunts here, that's tough, that's tough turn for us. But I just don't see him taunting, right? I really don't see that happening. Like I said, I think the beat up's gonna come out here. He's gonna try to boost him up here. And we're gonna block the shot and get triple. We're gonna try to take speed control and proc weakness policy next turn. Let's see what happens here. Show me the beat up. Well, we're gonna guard first. Totally forgot about that. But that animation comes out first. He's gonna taunt. Ooh. Ooh. Smart play by him. So he does end up taunting. Here's my mental herb now. Shook off the taunt, baby. Maxico comes out. Mental herb coming in clutch, baby. Get it out of here. Trick Room getting going. Trick Room's getting going, baby. Yo, Mental Herb clutching up. Yo, perfect way to start off this battle. Get off that Mental Herb and the power of these two together. Yo, let's go. Call me up. That's fine. Let's bulldoze. Uh, totally fine with that. And then I can just quake. I could totally quake into Kabalion. It's going to be play. We got a special defense boost as well. He might beat up now. Let's see what he does. Yeah, I know you don't like that. I know you don't like what we're doing. Your boy's getting after it. So we have Trick Room. Uh, we still have Grimstar in the back, and we have Lugia. Bulldog's gonna pop through. We're gonna proc a policy. We're gonna slow down everybody, so speed basically stays the same. Here's my policy. T-Tar's buzzing. T-Tar's buzzing. Don't let him get after it. Don't let him do it to you. And we're gonna get speed drops on everybody. Wom, 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 wom. I love that sound, man. Here goes my Max Quake. I don't think we're taking out with a Max Quake. We're still going to do a decent amount of damage. We've got a special defense boost. And we get to do that. Okay, that's wonderful. Can I Nightshade take out from there? It's going to be close. I maybe should have ally switched that turn. I could have. But Steel Spike's going to come through. You're going after Dust Door. No, you're going to go after my T-Tar. The T-Tar's going to be able to eat that up. I'm surprised he didn't go for that fighting move. I think maybe he thought I was going to ally switch. Um, I do see him guarding this turn. Right, I can see him guarding. Beat up's gonna come through, which is okay. We can take out next turn, which is great. Right, a nightshade should be able to take that out. So yeah, I'm just gonna nightshade next turn and take out the Wimscott. I think I'm, I think I'm with that. Right, nightshade should be able to take that out. If nightshade doesn't take that out, I'm quitting this game. Never playing it again. Right, like come on, nightshade should be able to get that. I think I'm going to bank on that. I think I'm banking on Nightshade doing the work. Well, I hit him again. Don't you hit him one more? No, four times. There's that attack boost. All fits are coming through. Right, Nightshade, Nightshade should be able to do it dirty. Nightshade, baby. I'm getting after that. Nightshade, then try to just rock fall. Yeah, I think rock fall is going to be play. Let's just rock fall over on the Wimscot. That'll take it out. Um... Kabali, I'm gonna guard. He might. Which I don't, I don't mind if he does, because Trick Room be self turns and Trick Room. I do have Ally Switch, but I just don't see Ally Switch being a thing for us right now. Like, we don't need to use it. No, oh, he's gonna withdraw Kabali. Okay. I'm with that. I'm with this turn all day. I'm with this turn 100%. Because he's gonna throw out who? Incineroar's gonna come out. That's totally fine by me. We still take out this Wimscott. We get off a Nightshade here. Uh, he's gonna fake me out next turn, which I'm just gonna ally switch and do work with my uh with my T Tar. It was a taunt. Oh now now you're taunting. We're, you know, it's, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. Now you're taunting. Rock Falls gonna come out here, pick up the KO. And we're going for a nightshade anyway into the instant war. So we're gonna be able to do some damage here. Is that and I can just protect next turn. It's safe play to do. We take you out. Here goes my Nightshade doing a little bit of damage here, and we're going to get some buff damage on him as well. The Nightshade does some work. And I think we have two more turns left in Trick Room. Yeah, because we Dynamax. Maybe one. No, no, no. We have two. We have two turns left in Trick Room, so I should be able to go for a Protect and get off another turn next turn. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm digging this. We still have Grimstarl in the back, which I would love to get out screens and set up for my Lugia to kind of come in here and win this battle. Okay, so we cannot Protect. That's tough things. We cannot protect here. I cannot ally switch. Uh, I mean, he's just going to fake me out. And I think he's going to double into me, right? I can swap. I wish I could ally switch, man. This is what I want to do next turn. Um, 
I mean, like I said, he's just gonna fake me out and roll from there. Uh, I mean, do I protect? I mean, I guess I'll go for a rock slide. I can't EQ. Hit everybody. I'd rather, I'd rather drop a slide. Here comes the fake out. Obviously, it's coming. And then he's just going to punch on into my Tyranitar, take him out. And then I'm going to get out here, set up some screens. Oh, we, oh okay. We get out Cabalion. Oh, okay. I'm with it. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with that one. Rockside comes through. It's blocked. Please hit this Cabalion. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're not going to be able to take it out. Are we? Who do we Nightshade on? Is it the Cabalion slot? It was. Okay, beautiful. So, we take him out. We tell him to go home. Um, I am taunted. It comes down to these two Pokemon right here. And I do have my Lugia. Lugia is going to be chilling here. We have uh, Arrow Blast to take that thing out. And his final mod is the Incineroar, which is just going to bring my Tyranitar back to even. Which is totally fine. And now he's going to fake me out and get after it. Uh, I just start slowing them down. I might just start slowing them down. That might be the play. I think that might, might just be the play. Slow them down. They can't really do much later. And I guess we'll, I guess we'll try for another rock slide. I guess we'll try. We're just slowing the pace down at this point. Looking for this win. We'll slow the battle down all, all that we want. We're kind of, we're sitting in a good position. Get it rolling. Get it rolling. Urshfu is scary up against this team though. Here comes the fake out. This is why I thought he was going to turn one. I'm surprised he didn't. I really am surprised he didn't. Tyranitar flinches. Bulldoze comes out. I'm going to slow them down because Trick Room is going to end. I'm going to just slow down everybody. I'm going to say, hey, everybody, slow your roll. Slow your roll. So we got the big dogs coming out here next turn. We got the big dogs. I can just set up a reflect. Wicked Blow coming out here. Into my Tyranitar, right? I went to my dust one. I could have went. Oh no! I never. Mind. Never mind. He faked me out. Critical hit. That's totally fine. I'll set up a reflect with my Grim Snarl, and we'll get rolling from there. Dance from some sides. Trick Room's gone. All right. Okay. I don't think we're sitting bad. Get out, Grimmy. Reflect's coming out here, and then I'm gonna just pester with waves. Or no, if I actually if I if I can get off a spirit break, I would like that a lot. But Grimmy coming out here as our back end. Reflect popping, and then I mean I could EQ. EQ's not bad, but I'd rather drop a slide. So I don't want to hit my Grim Snarl. Do not want to hit my Grim Snarl. But yo, MVP so far, that mental herb item, yo. Coming up clutch in that beginning, shaking off the taunt instantly, letting us be able to get off that trick room and roll from there. Which is huge. I absolutely love that item. Good old mental herb. I totally forgot we had it on him. The flat comes out here. Good thing they're both physical attacking, so we don't have to set up both screens. We just have to set up another flat, and we get going from there. Close combat is going to take us out 100%, which is fine. And I wonder what... Oh, dude, he just drops his defense. So a Spirit Break should be able to do absolute work on that thing. Spirit Break should be able to come up clutch. Flare Boats can come out here. We're going to be able to eat that up all day long. Reflect helping us out tremendously. And we're set up really, really well. He does get off a burn, which of course he does. Making my life a lot harder. Eats his berry. Gets some HP back. Um, They're both minus one. They're both minus one on speed. The Lugia should be able to come out here and uh, get rolling here. My oh boy, Lugia. I want to see Lugia's uh, speed here. And we do still have multi-scale, which is awesome. Our uh, Urshmoo probably is still going to be able to outspeed this thing. I love its colors, though. Shiny. It get that, gets that nice little red tint. Mm, it's, it's spicy. That's real spicy. Look at that thing. Looking nice. Looking real nice. Lugia comes out here. I'm not really worried about much. We have a multi-scale ready to go. I could Spirit Break. I think that's what exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to Spirit Break. Or I could just Arrow Blast. I think I am going to Arrow Blast over onto the Urshfu slot. But yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to Arrow Blast because Arrow Blast looks dope. A Vortex of Air that shot. At his target time, flick damage critical hits land more easily. Maybe I should have switched spots because he might protect the Urshfu here. It is not. Arrow Blast comes through and we do outspeed. That is a gorgeous move. Takes out the Earth's Foot in one shot. We pretty much have this match wrapped up and getting started off real strong. Yo, this team. This team coming up big. This team coming up big. Spirit Break comes in here. Do a little bit of damage. I think this guy cancels his battle next turn. Special attack is going to drop. That does nothing to him. He's physical attacking. Flare Blitz is going to come through. And we're going to be able to eat that up all day. Multi-scale and Reflect coming out there. 
and then we get our leftovers to basically get our HP back. Almost everything back. Well, this is real close, y'all. Dude, Lugia's dope. I absolutely love Lugia. Lugia and Ho-Oh are two very, very cool legendaries. Long battle, but yo, had a good one. Had a good one. Maybe this one. I think it's going to cancel out this battle. We're just going to uh, EP over here. Use our coverage move. Try to do some damage. I think it cancels, though. No way he stays in. No way he stays in. We got Reflect. We got you on the ropes here, man. I don't think there's any way he wins this battle. Unless we miss, like, five attacks in a row. Something along those lines. Like, some crazy percentage. Like, one in a million chance he wins this battle. He does not cancel. Earth Power's going to come out here. He doesn't have his Barry anymore. Bang, and Earth Power. Does not take him out. Puts him... Get, he, he got a free Focus Ash. He got a free Focus Ash for him. But Spirit Break comes in here, cleans up the dust, and we end up winning this match. So let's go, guys. 1-0 to get the battle started. We now hop into our second battle and look for a win streak. We're seeing some dope teams on the rank double ladder today. This guy has a cool Mewtwo team alongside with Lapras, Mimikyu, uh, Alcreme to set up that decorate. So we got to watch out for that combo with the Lapras. Then he has Dracofish and Sunray. So very strong team, but very, very cool looking team as well. Uh, I don't know what the Mewtwo is going to do. I'm trying to think, because usually Mewtwo gets paired with like an Indeedy or something along the line, so we can expand force and roll from there, but um, I think I set up the Trick Room. I think Trick Room is a great call here. He has a lot of fast Pokemon here, besides the Lapras. But then if he goes Lapras and Alcreme, I can actually just uh, Bulldoze and potentially get after it with my Tyranitar. So I think these two are a solid lead, right? Solid lead here. Um, I could go with the, the Sun Squad. I could actually lead the Sun Squad. I think that's going to be the play, actually, overall anything. He has no weather control. Sun Squad should get the lead. Yeah, we're going to lead these two. He can actually set up Trick Room if he wants to. Or I can set up Trick Room. And just uh, keep it ally switching. I could set up Trick Room. We know it now. We're just going to get Sun Squad rolling here. Sun Squad alongside with Lugia. And then do we get Tyranitar just as a nice back end Pokemon. I feel like Tyranitar just can just uh, come in here. I like that. I like that a lot. We're gonna keep our uh, our support mods. Maybe we should have brought in Grimmsnarl. I think Grimmsnarl should have been the play in the back end. But I think I think Sun Squad just does just fine. Cause I was gonna lead the Titar in case he leads the Lapras, but then I was just like, dude, we have Venusaur. Might as well get him out there with the Sun, take Weather Control on this, and then have that Venusaur be able to Dynamax if we if we want to. And he's gonna go. He's gonna go Lapras. Okay, so I I think we're gonna put him to sleep to one. I think I'm going to drop a big old eruption and put that Lapras to sleep. Right? That could be a play. That could be a solid first turn. Put that Lapras to sleep. Could Solar Beam if I want, but I think Eruption's just going to be the play. Deal as much damage as we humanly possibly can. And we got Frenzy playing. Yo, I love this move. I love that move. Oh, uh, yeah. We're just going to put uh, Lapras to sleep. He might Dynamax, Decorate. Try to drop a G Max Resonance, but again, we're just going to throw this thing to sleep and then I'll Dynamax next turn and get rolling from there. Because if he is going to go for that Decorate and Dynamax, that's totally fine by me. And he is. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. That would be lovely because he's just going to Decorate. We're going to put that thing in sleep. Waste out a turn. Get an Eruption off. Potentially take out the Alcreme. Then Dynamax the Venusaur and uh, get rolling hard. Okay. As long as, as long as your Sleep Powder doesn't miss. Knocking on wood right now. Hopefully you guys heard that through my microphone. I knocked on my wood dash. Sleep Powder comes out. And it does connect. Beautiful first turn. Beautiful, lovely little first turn. Love this turn. I think it's slumped. Slumped. Get him out of here. Recover. I don't know why you're recovering. But what was that? These are Master Ball battles. What are you doing? Big eruption coming out here. And does this thing have the eject button? Nope, just leftovers. Okay. The solid first turn. Do I save my Dynamax? Or I think I just get after it. You give me no reason not to just get after this. Drop another eruption. Got a Dynamax. I could ooze. But I'd rather just Vine Lash and do big damage overall to uh, the Slapper slot. Oh, yo, we're sitting pretty. What was what was with that? All right. Yo, e easy second battle, yo. 2-0. Let's go. We take those battles right there. Easy rank ups for us in the Master Ball tier. But our third and final battle looks like it's going to be a tough one. Going up against a Velta team. Alongside with Metagross, Tapu Fini, Grimstar, Mimikyu, and Incineroar. I feel like I showed off this team before on my channel. It's a very, very strong team. I can tell already by the Pokemon on it and the team synergy. Um, but hopefully we can go 3-0 and get ourselves that perfect record. First battle was long drawn out. We got to show off the team probably to like its fullest potential. Second battle, we just played a nice little uh, lead with the Venusaur and Torkoal, put the lap to sleep, and he canceled after that. He knew it was over, but I'm kind of curious to why he went to that recover. Maybe he thought I was going to hit him, and he was just going to recover HP and go from there. I don't know. Maybe he thought I was going for a sludge bomb. I really don't know, but still, we picked up that win. 
Now we can hop into our third and look for that perfect record. I think I'm going to lead the, uh, the Dust Door combo. I think that's a play. He does have Taunt. Like I said, he does have Taunt, but we do have that Herb of Mentals. So I feel like Trick Room is a, is a nice option here. He does have Incineroar. Ooh. He does have Incineroar. Which if he does lead, I mean, I, I'd be fine with it. Because then I could just proc Policy him all from there. Uh, do you want to bring Lugia? Do you want to bring Sun Squad again? Sun Squad, <laughs> they brought out. Actually, give me no reason not to lead the Sun Squad. I think we bring in the boys. Go Grimstar on Lugia. I do, I do dig this. I do dig this. I'm going to lead the Sun Squad. I really do dig, uh, dig the team right here. But I would love to, like, Twinkle in a Trick Room is OP. It really is. I would I would love to get that uh, Twinkle rolling in, in a Trick Room. Like, I remember I used a team when, like, Torkoal was starting first, kind of, like, find its way into the meta. Like, yo, I had a Trick Room team. I would just set up Trick Room, and I'd get out Torkoal with a Life Orb, and he would just dominate. He goes to Velta alongside with the Grim Snarl, and we go Venusaur into the Torkoal, and, okay. I'm with this. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Drought's gonna come out here. And, uh, he could just Snarl me up. That is an option. But I'm just gonna eat option. I do as much damage as I can, and I am going to Dynamax, and I could go for a Vine Lash, or I can go for a, uh, an Ooze. What do I want to do here? I don't want to Ooze and get that special, special attack boost. For both of us. I think it's going to be play. I can see him just snarling up with the Yvelta. Yvelta does learn Snarl, but maybe he's not rocking out with it. Maybe he's going to Dynamax and go for that, uh, that Max Airstream. Which, if I can get this special attack boost for this, uh, Torkoal and get off a big old eruption. Because we are posing two big threats. He's like, I gotta hit the, like, I can hit this Venusaur with an Airstream, but then if I don't hit this Torkoal, this Eruption in the draw is gonna be big damage. That's what's really, really good about this lead. Like, there's two powerhouse hits right here, and he has to worry about them both. So he's gonna Dynamax as well, and I can see him going for an Airstream into my Venusaur, which I see Venusaur eating up, and then this Eruption can be huge. So he's probably gonna set up the Light Screen, to be honest, which is gonna help him out. But I feel like our uh, special attack boost is gonna neglect like some of that. Well, let's just see what he does. Let's see. Let's see the plays. He gonna go, is he gonna guard? Like, what's he gonna do? He's gonna, oh, he's gonna fake out on my Venusaur. That's a fine turn. Gets a crit, of course, on this fake out. He gets a big old crit. We got speed. We get an ooze off. So we're getting this ooze rolling here. Uh, Grim Snarl is gone. Get him out of here. So no support with him. He just gets out a useless fake out. That's a big turn for us. And then we have Eruption coming in hot. We have Eruption coming in hot onto the Shivalta. And I wonder what he's going for. He's going for an airstream. I had to guess probably an airstream, right? And it should be going on in my Venusaur. Yep, goes into my Venusaur. Venusaur is able to eat, which is lovely. And Venusaur should still be able to outspeed the Yvelka. Which is good. Because my eruption, decent damage onto that thing, which I absolutely love. On a Dynamax mine, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, hopefully Venusaur still outspeeds. I should be able to pop off another Eruption. Actually, no. We're going to go for a Heat Wave this turn. Or I can go for a Solar Beam. Mm, or Jeans can go for a Solar Beam. I think Solar Beam is going to be play. Actually, no. I, th I think Heat Wave is going to be play. But I I'm hoping Venusaur outspeeds here, right? With the Corval, I could protect. Because I actually want to do this. And just Vine Lash. Let's see what he does. Venusaur, I'm thinking Venusaur outspeeds still, right? Yeah, he does. Beautiful. Beautiful, baby. Chlorophyll coming in hot. There we go. Take out you. We get the Vine Lash rolling. So, go ahead. Take out my Venusaur. And then we went for this Heat Wave just in case he went after my Torkoal here. Well, yeah, he is going to go after my Torkoal. So, yo, so solid lead here. Solid lead. For the boys. Solid lead. Venusaur takes out two Pokemon. We get a uh, Vine Lash set up. Airstream's gonna come through. Uh, Yvelta's gonna start taking us speed advantage. Torkoal is gonna be able to eat, which is huge. So we get off one more Heat Wave and we get the Waste State turn here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Heat Wave comes through. Oh my lord. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. We have the Lashes set up or the Vines all set up. Grimstar can come in here. Uh, I could set up a Light Screen. I know Yvelta's physical or special, right? Yeah. Definitely special. And he's going to throw out his last mod, which is going to be Instant War. That's totally fine. I mean, we're going to get out you. And, okay, so these are your last two mods. Let's just set up screens. And then be able to get Lugia out here and try to roll from there. It makes him come, come out here. It's a good thing Torkoal did survive, because that would get another turn. Just chilling here. Might just fake me out. Let's see what he does. 
Uh, heat wave can come through. That's my that's my like best option. Uh, or I can paralyze. I'd rather set up the screens. I'm gonna set up this light screen here. It might fake me out. If he does, then we get off a heat wave, which which is solid. You know, let's fake out. Is that going for the Torkoal? Yeah, he's gonna use to take out the Torkoal. We're gonna be able to get off a light screen here, and then I can bring out my Lugia. Light screen popping. And Grimstone should be able to eat up whatever he has. Right? He'll go for another air screen. Yeah. Should be able to eat this. The speed's already boosted pretty much. Or really, really well. So my options here now is uh, either Thunder Wave or the Spirit Breaks. That's what I want to do. So nice damage. Yo, if we go 3-0, your boy's buzzing. Your boy's buzzing. I'm already buzzing. We're 2-0. I told you, I, got, I want to go either 2-1 or 3-0 today. And we already fulfilled that. We're 2-0. 2-0 right now. So, looking to go 3-0. Looking to do it for the Jeans Online Gamer Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Haven't did that in a little bit. Missed it. But, yo, I, I usually don't like to do it every single video now. I usually like to save it for you guys. Build it up. But we can go for an Earth Power. We can do big damage with that. I could call my setup if I really want to, but I really don't think that's the play. Uh, Arrow Blast could come in here. We have Stab Damage, which is big. Ice Beam could be decent. Um, I think I just arrow blast. Actually, uh, I think I'm gonna double up in the uh, belt. Uh, I I want him gone. He's really throwing me off here. I really want him gone. I have multi scale. I'm gonna double up in him. I don't see him protecting. He goes to dark pulse. Oh, that's fair. Luki's gonna be able to eat. Multi scale is gonna help us out tremendously for that turn one. That's this is exactly like one of the reasons I want to go after so you belt right here right now. Goes darkest layer. Should be able to eat up just fine. Yep. And now we'll get... I flinched, bro. Bro, I really flinched that Dark Pulse. Take this thing out. I really just flinched that Dark Pulse. Don't, don't tell me. Alright, good thing Vine Lash gonna take that thing out. Bro, we really flinched that Vine Lash? Or to that Dark Pulse? Come on, man. He still has a Barry if I had to guess. Um, play here would probably be to uh, Thunder Wave him. Slow him down. And let Lugia get off a shot. Right? Probably the play. Rather earth earth power here. And Thunder Wave, yeah. Let's do that. Oh no, he's dark and prankster. Ah! Jeans, what are you doing? Jeans, what are you doing? Nah, I think we I think we would have lost this one regardless. Ah, uh, dude, the dark and prankster gets me every time. Gets me every time. I am learning it though. The harsh sunlight does fade. Oh man, oh man. Do I set up a reflect? I could have set up a reflect. Last turn I probably should have did that. He has a berry, I know that. Like what incident where doesn't have a berry? That's G's man. That's gonna be G's. Your break's gonna come through. He's gonna ease berry. Let's just start missing. That's my only way. We have solid battles though. Solid battles for today's video. This third one was a good one. It was a good one. Wouldn't be a G's video if I didn't make a big mistake. Wouldn't be a G's video. You guys already know that. We eat recoil damage coming out of here. Unless we get a crit here. Unless we get a big old crit to win the match. Nope. Here comes his berry. His berry should come out here now. There's the berry. There's that wonderful berry. There is that lovely berry. There goes that mist. Mist is gone. Not helping us out at all. And I'm just going to run this battle. I'm just going to run this battle. Save my Grimstar from dying. All good. We go 2-1 for these battles and have ourselves a great set of battles for today's video. I'm a big fan of this team. The Sun Squad on this team rocks out strong. The Lugia is amazing. Grimstar with the screens. You guys know how I love screens Pokemon. And then we got the Dustor and Tyranitar off meta combo, which just makes this team 10 times better. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. One last shout out to my boy Randy for dropping this team. I absolutely love it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, if you want to drop me teams, my Instagram name is right below my face cam. DM me over there. Send me teams. I try to get back to every single person who DMs me over there. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.